Recording. Rolling. Is that what they say? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And um, today's video, I'm gonna be filming what I got Eli for pre-K and what, I'm gonna show you what I got. And so, first off, I wanted to start off, I guess I'll start off with this one. So I got this actually a couple months ago because I heard like really good things about it. And I'm sure if you're not new into the homeschooling community or homeschooling sort of lifestyle or whatever, um, you've already heard about this book. And this is what I'm going to be using to teach Eli to read. I tried to start it a couple months ago, but I just think that he's, he's too young for the writing part. I kind of think so, but I guess that's just, it depends on your child and their personality and their, if they're able to sit still and stuff. But yeah, it's to teach your child to read 20 minutes a day and it's step by step and everything. And I think that when he turns four, we're, we're definitely going to be getting into this. But I think I got through like seven lessons. And I tried to do the writing with each lesson, but um, I didn't have pencil grips then. So it was really hard to do the writing without the pencil grips. Because he kept wanting to hold the pencil like this instead of like the try hold. Another thing that I got was this. This little book set. Um, this is an activity book, this one. And this one is read alouds that you do with your child. And these go hand in hand together. So for an example, this one is my favorite one by far. Like it says, has I'm a little teapot story. And then right here in the corner it says, go to, it says read this first, I'm a little teapot. Then you go into this book and first what you're going to do is you're going to go to the songs of the book and you're going to find the I'm a little teapot song. And this one, I love it how it doesn't have a whole lot of writing because I feel like he isn't quite there with writing. Like he's not quite ready to be writing a whole lot. So I think that this is just getting him used to the idea and the practice of doing workbooks and working on pages. And this one has art in it. It has comparing same or different activities. Oh, and then we did like a Goldilocks story. And then he, I told him the story from this book. And then he had to get cutouts and retell me the story. And then after we did the story, um, we made uh, oatmeal together. And we called it porridge because it's like porridge is hot cereal. But um, school doesn't start till mid-August. But I decided to start this with him right when we got it. Because I don't know, I was just really excited to get into it. And it says, this is the first activity book and it's for ages 3 to 5. And I think the second activity book is for ages four to five. And at his age, he needs to be doing a lot of uh, learning and play. And I feel like this book, it's like so interesting for them. And they're doing a lot of learning and play and learning with activities. And it already comes with the cutouts and the stickers and everything you need for it. So just to give you an idea of like the layout of the book, this whole section of this half of the book is uh, activities. And it does it by week, and this is for 25 weeks. But we haven't. Even, we've been working on this for like two weeks, and we are already on week four. So you can get through this whole book fairly quickly. We only do it for probably like 20 to 30 minutes. I want to say like four to five times a week. And the other portion of this book is all cutouts and stickers that they provide for you. And this book, I got it used. It has a little shelf where I got it used on Amazon. It has writing, a little bit of writing right here. But other than that, it was perfectly like new. All of the stickers were included, but I got this one for $17. So if you go onto Amazon, you can find used, um, used material that just will have shelf wear, but it will be in like good like new condition and then this one i got i need to just pull up my amazon account because i don't remember all of the, the items the what your preschooler needs to know i got this one used to the only difference is i had a sticker right here probably from some other library or something and everything looks perfectly new on the inside and this one i got for six dollars and 34 cents so i'm really pleased with that and when i do 
this curriculum with Jameson, I will not have to buy. Lord willing, if this is still like intact and in good, proper condition, and if we take care of it, I won't have to buy another one of these. I'll just have to rebuy another activity book. If we get through this super fast, I think I will just go ahead and get the second activity book because that is how much Eli enjoys it and I enjoy doing it with him. And then I also got Explode the Code and this is just sim another simple activities, a lot of like finding which one is different and starting to trace with your finger and using a pencil to go across and just like talking. I don't know, this one's pretty cool too. We started this one already. He doesn't like this one as much, but I think that this one will be supplemental work to the what your preschooler needs to know. But we've mainly been working on this, but once we get all the way through with this, I think I want to finish this one before I get the second activity book for what your preschooler needs to know. And then along with that, I also got Lace and Trace activities. And I think that this will be good for um, small muscle control for when he's learning to write. I also got my first Bob books, which is pre-reading skills, and these I'm going to gift give these to him for his fourth birthday. So this doubles as homeschool curriculum and a birthday present, which at this age you can get away with. So this one was $10. The Explode the Code was $9.10. And then my first Bob books was $12.80. And then another thing that I got, which I left in the other room, I knew I was forgetting something. But I also got Eli pencil grips. So I will go ahead and get those real quick. Okay. So um, this is what the pencil grips look like. You just, I feel like it's a little different kind of pencil grips. Like it shows them that the middle fingers for support. And then, I don't know, this has been really helping him to write better and just to get that try hold down so yeah that is all of what I got for homeschool if I need because explode the code also has two other books too and this the what your preschooler needs to know has a second activity book so when the spring comes around and say we finish these workbooks I will get him more workbooks but as for now I'm just gonna stick with this for what I got and really focus on what I got and um, teach him with what I got. <laughs> and um, I think that, if you're wondering, I think that this one was $20 and I bought this one used as well. And it just had a little bit of writing on the inside, like dates and stuff, but that wasn't a big deal. Um, I really like how Amazon, they you can buy stuff used, but you can pick if it's in a like new condition or a good condition. So you get it a little cheaper and so you get it for a better deal. So I recommend doing that if you're trying to do homeschool or pre-K on a budget. Excuse this weird blanket right here. <laughs> There's a blanket right here. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope it gave you some ideas to what you can get for pre-K for your child. And also, I forgot to mention, um, Last year, when Eli was three, we started, like, doing school stuff. So, like, puzzles and shapes and counting sticks and um, talking about colors, which we kind of already were when he was, like, two. But that's just kind of part of that age, I guess. And we did ABC flashcards, and I would talk about the flashcards with him. And you can also do that for pre-K, too. Um, but I think that these things will get him a little further than just doing flashcards because he was honestly getting bored of me rotating activities for him to do and he wasn't really interested in doing school. But now that we got this activity book, he like loves to do school time with me. And I'm really thankful for that because it was like, kind of becoming a struggle and making me a little down like, like if I'm really able to homeschool him. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a blessed day and okay, bye. <laughs>